People near Atlanta have now filed lawsuits as smoke from a chemical plume continues to cover parts of nearby Rockdale County. That's according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The outlet reports at least six complaints have been filed against Biolab, the company that owns the factory where we the fire first started. Now, we told you Monday about the tens of thousands of people forced to shelter in place. Officials say they've even direct, uh, detected chlorine in the air, and this morning there are still concerns about the potential health effects. Jasmina Alston with an update. It smells like chlorine. Is that from the Rockdale County fire? The sky looked gray and smoky for some Gwinnett County residents on Monday morning. It was unusual for people like Darcy in Duluth, but it was the smell that hit her when she stepped outside that caused concern. I was only out there for 30 seconds. It burned my eyes. It burned my nose. I got an instant headache and um, all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. Officials say the hazing chemical smell was pushed into nearby areas like Gwinnett County as a result of the chemical plant fire at Biolab in Rockdale County on Sunday. I was panicking because I smelled chlorine, and I knew about the Rockdale County explosion or whatever the fire. Several of the neighboring areas conducted air quality tests, including Gwinnett County, DeKalb County, and the city of Atlanta. As of Monday afternoon, there were no advisories or immediate life safety issues in those areas. I noticed it started to get haze, like it was rolling in like fog, and I stepped outside and it just immediately smelled like chlorine, like I stepped in a chemical room of a pool. Meanwhile, Ashley Neal, who lives in the Atlanta neighborhood of Kirkwood, had similar experiences as those in Gwinnett County. Her neighbors even put out masks for others to use, who were concerned about the air immediately went is this toxic like what's going on because um, I knew that they were in a shelter in place uh, advisory so I was kind of concerned I was like what you know like is this bad for us um, I was also really concerned for my son his school like I knew he was going to be out in the playground in 30 minutes and we had just no understanding of what the situation was Jasmina Olson with that update. The U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board will look into the cause of this fire.